and welcome back to my channel for another beauty related video. Today we are doing an update to the Out the Door and 24 Project Pan. If you are brand new here and you have not seen any of my updates or my intro video to that and you are interested in any of that, it will be linked below and possibly at the end of this video. All of the necessary information like who created this and all of the details will also be linked in the description box. So we do this video in two parts. The first part is giving you an update if I have anything I have finished and giving an update on progress on other products in this project. Then the second part is decluttering other items from my home because whether it be beauty related or just daily stuff, daily life stuff, we don't need things in our home that we're not using, that aren't bringing us joy, that are just more stuff to move around, more stuff to clean around, more things to figure out storage for, right? Now, I am not a minimalist. Do not get that in your head. I am not a minimalist, will never be a minimalist. But I do believe that there should be a purpose in the stuff that we keep and we buy so that you don't miss any of that, make sure you are subscribed down below, hit that little bell, and give this a thumbs up if you like this content. Okay, without further ado, let's get into the update. So guys, I have only two items that I have finished this month, but I am happy with that, that's fine, that is fine. So. The two items are the two packages of Kiss Nails. The one package was a tealy color in the shade Abstract. I do not have the box or anything for that because I have misplaced it. I may have thrown it away, but I did use those. I loved them and it was good I use them now because as we get further into the holidays, that's not a color I would use. Okay, so then the next one is also the Kiss Nails in mustard yellow. And while I don't have the packaging, I have the leftover nails that don't fit my fingers. So, hey, you can see that. I love this color and I will probably repurchase this again later on once I've gone through all of my other Kiss Nails because there's so many. Um, but again, I needed to get that done now because holiday colors is not that. As much as I would wear yellow with everything, I probably shouldn't. <laughs> so I do have those two items that I am finished with, meaning that out of the 24 items that I have um, brought into this project, I have now completely used up 16 of them. So I still have a ways to go. I do. Okay. So I'm gonna give as much of an update really quickly on all the other products that products that are in this project so you know where my thought is, if I think I'm gonna use them. And remember, if I don't use them up, the ultimate goal is to still part with them. So I kinda wanna get the use in. So the first thing I'm gonna update you is the Tarte Finishing Powder. Guys, this one is still I'm just making progress. I am making so much progress and there is so little left. I'm gonna try to show it to you without spilling it. It's kind of all pushed up on the side right now, but that is all that there is. So, eh, don't fall out. Don't want it going to waste. So it's clearly making some progress. I have no doubts that I will finish that by the time this project is over and I have loved it and will probably repurchase that. Next I have a highlighter from Essence. It is Essence the Highlighter in 04 and this product I brought in because I really didn't like it. Um, it initially I feel like had a scent to it I didn't like. I'm not fully remembering. I should go back and see what I originally said. Um, but I think I remember it had a scent I didn't like and it just wasn't a color that really worked well for my skin. But I didn't want to just part with it and I had used it so I didn't feel comfortable, you know, gifting it or anything. So um, now that my skin is gonna go start going lighter again, this will be able to work with me a little bit easier. So I'm gonna now really focus on this. I think I've only used this a few times since the beginning of the year, unfortunately. And I did go ahead and pull this into my recent deck of panning update. If you haven't seen that, sorry for that spoiler. It is already up. Be sure to go watch that after this. Um, 
So hopefully because it's been brought into that, it will actually make some progress. I highly doubt that I will get through this by the end of the year, but I already know I will be fine decluttering this um, at that point. Next we have from Ciate London, a dewy blush. This is the um, Aunt Papaya. This one I have again only used a few times this year, so I did go ahead and pull this into another project and hopefully that'll help me make some progress on it. Again, I don't think I'm gonna finish this one by the end of the year, but I'm okay with that. Then I have the gel liner from Shades by Sean. Um, this is just in black, right? Yeah, it's called Black Tea. This is, this was brought in not because it was a bad product or anything, but because I have plenty of black eyeliners that I just need to make some progress on something. So I just grabbed this and I am loving it. It is starting to, oh, what would the wording be? Like when I put it on, it kind of jumps a little bit. So that's something that I'm glad that, that I'm getting this used up so that it's getting the use, but also not sitting in my drawer collecting dust. So I am making some progress on this, but I don't use these very often. So it's kind of difficult to make that much progress. So I still have a significant amount left. I feel like that bit there, but I do think that if I keep up my current uses usage, I should be good to roll this out at the end which I will be very excited for because I don't think I've ever actually finished a black liner. Um, I think I've just had to declutter them because they've gone bad. So I will be excited if I can actually finish that. Then we have from e.l.f. Cosmetics, we have two products. They are the Sheer Sticks, one in Black Cherry and one in Golden Pear. I forgot how much I loved these. And so I'm really hoping that I get to use them all the way up before the end because I don't know if I'll be able to throw these out. Um, I just truly don't know. They're so good. They're so pretty. They're so soft. Um, I don't really think they leave like much of a hydration and they definitely don't last long. But here is what's left in Black Cherry, which is what's on my lips today. And then Golden Pear has about the same amount left as well. So there you go. I really am hopeful I can use them up because I want to use them up. I don't want to have to just part with them without using them. So I'm, I'm focusing on them, definitely. Next is from NYX. It is their High Voltage in 15. And this one, I don't love as much. I think it's an okay formula. It's a decent color. It's just not a color I wear very often. So I have a little bit more than what's left in the, um, in the e.l.f. ones. Um, this one, as much as I, I am using it, if I end up getting to the end and it's not used and it needs to be just tossed, I won't be super torn up over it, but I still want to try to get as much from it as I can. It's just, it's a hard color for me. It's not one that, looks great with many looks and it does wash me out. So I have to be very careful with it and I typically use it with another color. Another one we have is from CoverGirl and this is the Smoochies Lip Balm um, in 585 Party Girl. This one is such a unique color in my collection. I absolutely love it. That's about, that's all that there is left. So I have made some decent progress I will be sad when it is time to part with this one, but this is not one I will allow myself to keep after this, even if there's plenty on this, because it is getting dried out. It is starting to not perform as well. So it's clearly getting too old to keep. I mean, I've had this for <laughs> way too long. So I am using it when I can, but it's another color that's not very easy for me to use and just doesn't go with my looks normally. So I am using this when I can, and I will be sad to part with it, but if it's not done, I, I won't have a choice. It will have to leave. The last item that I need to use up, I don't have to show you because I don't know where it is. That does not bode well for it at all. It is the Color Pop Lippy Stick in Infinite Best. I don't love this formula. I think I put it in a purse to hopefully encourage me to use it up but I don't know where it is. 
I have looked through several purses. I don't know where it is. So unless I find it soon, I highly doubt I will get through it, but I will no matter what be decluttering it because I don't like it. I do not like it, but there is nothing actually wrong with it. I just don't like the formula. It's too messy for me to really enjoy and use easily. Um, it's just, it's just too wet. It just moves too, too much. Even with a lip liner, it still moves. So it's not one I would ever rebuy. And it's definitely one that once it is done, it will go. Or once this project is done, it will go. But I still want to get as much use out of it as I can because I spent the money on it. And I don't want it to be just waste. So that is the makeup update. Do you think, do you have faith in me that I will get through all of these? I don't think I will. In fact, I am almost certain I won't. It's a lot of lip products, a lot. Okay, but we're gonna do as best we can. So now we're gonna go into part two of this, which is 25, 24 items out of my home. Now, the only rule for this is that it can be anything. So. I know some people who do this literally go through and get rid of 24 pieces of mail they just haven't thrown away. They go through and get rid of 24 random individual socks that they have yet to find the match for. Whatever it is, is fine. So if you want to be encouraged today to just get rid of 24 items from your home, it doesn't have to be anything big. It doesn't have to be anything sentimental, but I encourage you to just take a quick walkthrough, 15 minutes walk through your house, find 24 items that for whatever reason you haven't parted with, but you should. It can be paper, it can be trash, it can be random things you thought you would fix, but you never did. And if you're being honest with yourself, you're never going to. It can be whatever. If you pick 24 items, feel free to let me know in the comments below. You can just let me know, hey, I did the 24 um, items and this is how it went or you can even list what you got rid of. Whatever you want to comment, go ahead and leave me a comment. I want to hear from you and hopefully this is encouraging you to make a little progress in your home. So the 24 items I have to part with are all over the place. So I opened up a cabinet in my guest bathroom that is full to the brim of stuff that I know the types of things are in there, but I didn't really know exactly what was in there. So. Uh, it was time to kind of go through it and I only went through one shelf. It was a very, it's one of those old, old closets where they're really, really deep. Yeah. So <laughs> I only went through one of those shelves and I got a lot. So first we have a candle. Now this candle, there is nothing actually wrong with it. It's really cute. It's from Mainstays. It's pumpkin spice. It was given to me by a friend who was moving and had already used it. Um, but there's still plenty in here and she just didn't want it anymore. Um, initially, when I smelled it, I thought it was a scent that I could use. See, there's still so much in there. Um, but now that I'm smelling it, I'm not loving it. So maybe I was smelling like her other candles that were being burned or something. I don't know. I'm just, I'm, I don't think I'm going to use this. I think. So I'm just going to declutter that because I don't need it. It's super cute. And I was like, well, maybe I just keep it for decor. That's stupid. Sorry. For me, that doesn't make any sense. So I'm parting with that. The next four items I'm parting with are empty bottles. Yep, empty bottles, empty glass oil bottles. I don't know why I have all these empty bottles. I found a collection of bottles um, in this shelf. Uh, some of them had stuff still in it and some of them didn't, which are these ones. And so the ones that did I kept, but these ones I was like, I don't know why I have the four, but I have no other use for them. I have nothing that, I have no reason to keep them. So they're going to be trashed. Sticking with oils, I have this two pack of oils from this brand called Elevate. It has, there's a eucalyptus one and a sweet orange one in here. Um, I don't think there's anything wrong with these oils, but I don't know the brand and I have plenty of other oils from brands that I love. 
So I'm going to actually just gift this, like give it away to a friend if anybody wants this or donate it to somebody because I'm just never going to use this. But I am counting that as one because it's in a package. So that brings us to six items so far. Then we have from doTERRA this deep blue rub. Um, this used to be my number one go-to thing. I don't know why I stopped using it or buying it. I think I just forgot about it. Um, and I found this deep in that cabinet. And originally I was like, oh, okay, it's lotion. Sure, whatever. But it does have oils in it and it does kind of, I don't know, because it's in a lotion form, I don't feel as comfortable using it past it, like too much past its expiration date. And it expired in 2019. So I did open it and I smelled it and it, it didn't smell amazing. And the color of the lotion is just wonky. So I'm not taking a chance and I'm just getting rid of it, which it does make me sad because it's pretty full still. It's like all the way up to here and this stuff is not cheap, but I haven't rebought it in years. So I don't know. Next we have more empty containers. Oh goodness gracious. These are from Bath and Body Works and I have a feeling you might, might be able to know where I'm coming from with why I have kept these. Adorable containers, number one. Number two, I need to remember which scents I like, right? Number three, they now make refills so I can refill these. Here's the issue with that, I don't refill these. I only refill, refill the plain one that I have the really nice glass bottle one that I have, the ones that are made to be refillable. You can absolutely refill these, but I don't. So I need to stop holding on to these. So instead of keeping them just to know what scents I like, I've taken a picture of all of the bottles so that I can keep track of all the scents I really like. I'll just share them with you right now. This one is White Birch and Vitifer. I absolutely loved this. I love this container, but no, not gonna keep it. Uh, then I have Cactus Blossom. This one shocked me. Really like that one. Green Cypress tra Trails. Perfect for Christmas. And Flannel. I need Flannel. Did they bring back Flannel? I need Flannel. So those far, four are also going, which brings us to 11. So, okay, so I have a couple of clothing items. I feel like every single update has had a clothing item. Um... I have four, I believe, here today. I'm sure that sounds right. Um, first is this Spanx. Um, in, it's still in the box. I had bought this online and I had bought three different sizes and because I didn't know which size I was gonna be. And I was like, I'll just return them, right? So I opened the first two boxes, figured out which of those, that one of those worked and the other one didn't. And I went to go return them, but I couldn't find this box. This one was too big, so this one never even got opened. So, but I couldn't find this box. So I only got to return one of them, he kept the other to use, but then this one I just, I just couldn't find. So I have now found it way past the return window. So it is going to be, I don't know, gifted, donated something that's going out of my house. That's all that matters. A kind of in that same length, we have two bras. Um, I have a strapless bra and I have a cute Target bra. At least I think this is Target. Yeah, it was tar Target or Walmart. I don't know. They just, they're perfectly fine. They just um, are very, very old and don't fit me. They're just not my size and um, there's no purpose in keeping them. So parting with those two. And then I have a sweater that was given to me a while ago and I've been wearing it, but I've noticed I can't wear it with short sleeves because it itches my arms. So I can only wear it with long sleeve. And while that's comfortable, I forget. And I go to grab this when I'm wearing a short sleeve and then I get frustrated. So I'm just, I'm just gonna find a new home for that one. So that brings us to 15 items so far. So for 16 I have, a curling iron that doesn't really work. It plugs in, it turns on, and it does heat up, but it heats to about the level nine, 
temperature and it doesn't go any hotter than that. So it really doesn't get hot enough anymore. So it's clearly broken. I've already replaced it. Um, so it's, it's time to leave my house. That's 16. I think that was 16. For number 17, I don't know, is this salad bowl. Now this one I have been holding on to for years. This is a Pampered Chef wooden salad bowl that is super cute and it comes with these salad bear tongs, I think is what they were called before. And they can even store on the side. Oh my goodness, I'm trying not to convince myself to keep it. Here's the thing, I have used it once and I have owned it for at least 10 years. Actually, I've owned it longer because I sold Pampered Chef. When was I a Pampered Chef consultant? I think that was 12 years ago. So it's like 10 to 12 years old. Um, it's still in great condition. I just don't use it. I just don't ever. And I've tried moving it to like front and center where I see it all the time and I just don't, I don't use it. So I'm going to be parting with that. And I'm counting that as one because it's a whole set and because I have plenty of other items. If you need to count everything individually in order to reach your 24, go for it. Whatever it takes to get you to 24 items. I think that was 17 items. What else do I have? Next, I have a package of these really big di diameter straws. We had them for a science project a while back. And by a while back, I mean at least four or five years ago. And I just don't need them. And they're like, I've tried with like a smoothie and something and they're just, they're too big. They're too big. So I'm just gonna donate these. Maybe there's a teacher in my life that needs them. I don't know, we'll see. Then I found a pair of very, very old shoes. Like again, four or five years old like didn't stop fitting them four or five years ago. We're gonna part with those. Then I have this like wooden door frame hanging set. And this was supposed to be a summer pack and it has like hello sweet summer signage in this. And it's really cute. And I just have never gotten around to making this. And I'm really not going to. And I thought about keeping just this part for something. And you know what? I just, I don't want to right now. If I actually get the bug to make something, I'm just gonna buy it again because I don't wanna store it. I just don't, it needs, it needs to go to somebody else. So donating that. And then I have these two. These are scentsicles and um, we have it in white winter fur and it, it's a wonderful pine. These are um, scented ornament sticks that if you're using like an artificial tree, it helps your tree smell like a real tree. These are really, really cool, but I have figured something out. These are not good to store. These are so not good to store. So like it makes everything, like it, the scent just leaches out of the container throughout the year. And so like one year I went ahead and bought a whole bunch of these and I'm sure I actually have a couple more somewhere um, because it was the end of the season and I got them on really good sale. And I have over the years been using them and using them and using them and I haven't had to buy them again for a while, but I'm just, I want to start fresh and only buy them fresh in the year if I buy them at all, because while I do enjoy them, they are very, very strong. And so the scent, as I said, just leaches out of this, like I'm smelling this right now and this smells like I'm in a pine factory. Like it is so strong. And by the time I take it out of here and put it on the tree, the scent is like gone. It's like dead because I've had these for too long. So if I rebuy them, I will only rebuy what I need for the season because it's just not worth keeping to the next season. I think that brings us to 22. I have lost track. Um, So possibly number 23 is this adorable case. This is a Nintendo Switch um, case for the Switch Lite. We do not have a Switch Lite. And I did not know that when I bought this. And I got this, I wanna say at like TG Maxx or Target or something. Yeah, TG Maxx. So, um. I meant to return this and then I never returned this. This is why I have stopped buying things unless I am pretty certain I'm gonna keep it. 
or if I'm unsure, I literally buy it, figure it out that day and return it that day because otherwise it doesn't get returned. So I'm going to be um, seeing if I have a friend who has the light and see if they want it or just putting it in a donut, donate box. Okay, this should be the last item. This is a new in-box Bible. This was actually gifted to me a couple years ago randomly by a random content contact that I had made through my previous YouTube channel. I don't know why I was sent this. I don't know anything. All I know is that it showed up on my door one day with a note saying who it was from and I reached out to that person to thank them and ask them why. And they literally said it was beautiful and that they just wanted to send it to me. So I said, okay, cool. But it's just been sitting in my stuff for a while. So this is a beautiful, beautiful Bible, but it's in an NIV Bible in a box and I don't need it and I don't want it. And um, I'm just, I'm just gonna part with this. That is the 24 items. That is my update. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoy this project. I hope you enjoy my content. If you do, remember to hit that subscribe and come back for more. And while you wait for my next video, go ahead and check out the videos that should be popping up somewhere on the screen for you already. And I will see you in a video very, very soon. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye.